Hey New Orleanians, this is Elise Creed, and filming is Ryan Gilbert. Today we're going to give you an in-depth look on the plants and animals of Audubon Park. You may know this park very well because it's the perfect place for walking your dog or picnicking on the weekends. Today is very different. We're going to be giving you an in-depth look on the animals that you may see every day but don't know anything about. We're really excited. Before we start exploring, a little history about Audubon. It was formed in 1871 as a wildlife refuge and as a park for the city's many employees. The park is named after John James Audubon, who was a famous naturalist and painter. He painted a lot of birds in their natural settings and became very famous for it. The park is located between St. Charles Boulevard and the Mississippi River and is home to hundreds of bird and tree species. This is an adult yellow crown night heron. Like the black crown night heron, it forages at night. This bird stalks its prey and waits in ambush. But in contrast to the black crown night heron, it has a longer neck and longer legs. As you can see, it has a bold white cheek and red eyes. Creepy. Here we have some specimens of cycads of the division Cycadophyta. This genus is incredibly old, over 280 million years old, way older than any flowering plant species. The leaves are pinnately compound and are evergreen. Some of these species can actually fix nitrogen in the roots with the cyanobacteria. This cyanobacteria also produces a neurotoxin which can be found in the cycad seeds. This species comes from the late Permian period, over 280 million years old, and is one of the earliest terrestrial colonizers. Uh, these species cause controversy with the biological species content because some of the clearly defined species can actually interbreed and produce fertile offspring. Here we can see an adult Aninga. Unlike ducks, which produce an oil to keep them afloat, the Aninga has no oil and its feathers become waterlogged allowing it to submerge in water to prey on small fish and amphibians. The Aninga derives its name from the Brazilian Tupi language, where it means snake bird. This name is highly accurate because, as you can see, the bird looks very much like a snake when it's swimming around. We hope you enjoyed your time with us at Audubon Park. If you want to see more Discovering Audubon, then make sure to catch us on Wednesday at 9. See you next time!